So we are back. This is last job which we created in last tutorial. Uh, now we are talking about uh, main character. So in my picture, in my game, uh, my choice to make like this a bull. Red color bull without legs, without nothing, because it's just jumping. So it is my idea. Now I show you a general, I don't know, like it's calling general ways how to do some character. You can check a Google, you can check many photos, take something from your mind. It's completely up to you. But I show you how to create a similar bull. Uh, so what we will do? We are in Cinema 4D. We don't need any more cross, uh, so maybe I create a new. No, I create in same same way. Okay, so take cube. Uh, what we will do now? Make this cube editable. Not now. Yeah, now May, make this cube editable. Something like that. Take points, which is down. I don't need any soft selection and put it like this. Okay, something like that. Very good. What now? Now create one more cube. Yeah, maybe I going this area. This cube I don't need for a moment. This, yeah. Sorry. Okay, create one more cube. Make somewhere like two and two segments. Okay, okay, going to front view, top view. Now we will see. Make it the table, make it smaller. Maybe something like something like that. Put somewhere on the forward. Of course, if you have any experience with modeling, for you it will be more better. For sure you will find some other result how to create it. But if you haven't any idea how to make modeling, you just can follow to my tutorial. And more or less you will receive a similar result. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, very good. So what now? Now we are going for this view, we are select this point and this point and this point. Right click and going for, where is this? A uh, bevel. And make it like this. Okay, very good. So select this point. No, before select point, we are take it, it and right click. Exclude, where is my exclude? Here just push somewhere back okay very nice then point selection take this point and take this point scale make it white take this point this point and this point put little bit down so very nice very nice and we will put it somewhere down okay something like that very good so, what we will do now, we are going for cube, we are going for these options, push and subdivision surface and put this cube inside in subdivision surface. You see what is going on, this subdivision surface adds some result, again subdivision surface and other cube, cube put here. Oh yeah, it's very small, very small, very small. How we can fix this problem? How we can fix this problem? I take out this cube, I create one more, and I will add something like two, two, and maybe here it will be one. Okay, very good. So again, make it the table, go in here, take points, select this point, make it soft selection and reduce maybe increase this radius for soft selection and again reduce okay like this 
like this will be better I don't need any more soft selection and to reduce like this oops sorry reduce like this okay and now this cube put inside yeah like this it will be more better okay very nice so we have it uh what now now we are going to front view we are create one more cube make it three three something like that maybe somewhere here in just a moment okay make it editable somewhere behind no more here we will put behind something like this and somewhere here very good so what now now we are going for point selection and rectangle tool so something like no, just a moment I will check what I get mm -hmm. I get like this result so we will try to do something similar where it exists mm. put somewhere here where it exists put somewhere here something like that doesn't matter okay subdivision surface put inside you see what I get I get more or less now I will transfer somewhere here oh sorry okay somewhere like this a little bit far okay I receive very nice result so what now now we are going to front view going for pen and push like this after that hold and make like this escape on your keyboard very nice so maybe a little bit we are pick up it something like that and something like this bigger okay very nice what we will do with this spline like before we are going you remember yes we already use this tools for sweep put this spline inside and apply for this spline some circle put it the circle inside uh, reduce size of the circle for 20 and i get like this very nice very nice picture so maybe i will use a 25 okay but i like to make this corner more interesting so we are going for sweep we are going for details and here we are just reduce you see what is going on maybe you see yeah maybe like this so i like this result i like this result take the sweep and put it a little bit down a little bit down and somewhere here check yeah very nice result take the sweep uh hold counter on your keyboard and copy after that go in here and just change for 180 degrees some somewhere here looks like very very nice so now i check okay so it is it is done it is done and it looks like very very funny uh, it's not completed yet again we are going for this view we are take one more pen make like this hold and push like this very nice so now I just little bit reduce 
maybe something like that. Okay, very good. Uh, like before, yes, we are going for um, sweep tool. We are create one more circle. This circle will, will be very small, maybe 10 only. The circle to sweep, spline inside. I have like this going down, uh, going to sweep, details, something like that, and something like something like that. Okay, very good. Sorry, no, I don't need it. A little bit here. Okay, very good. And eyes. So how to create eyes? We are create a similar sphere, just standard sphere, but don't forget to change rotation like this, just to look for us. Yeah, very good. So now I reduce a little bit size, maybe something like 50. No, 50 is very small, 70, no, 50 is good. Why small? Because it's behind, yeah? So for a moment I keep a 50. So, uh, create one more material. I have, I have white material. So apply this white material to my sphere. After that, create one more material. This is material number 10. And I need luminance but this luminance will be black. So without any shadow, without any reflection, just black. Take my sphere, going for make the table. After that, select life selection tool and select somewhere here inside. Yeah, polygons and inside. Apply this material exactly to these polygons. You see what I get? Uh, I receive very nice result. After that, we can reduce a little bit again size. So coordinates, maybe we will use 0 0.6 only. Okay, maybe 0 0.5. Is until you'll be satisfied, something like that. Hold counter on keyboard, drag and drop. Then select this two sphere and put somewhere where is you like it. Maybe somewhere, somewhere here. Where is you like it? Going on top view, yeah. So, more or less, it's is is interesting result. What next? For my uh, this bones, yeah, I don't remember how it's calling. I apply white material, apply here, apply here, and for my bull, I apply new material it will be also with some reflection but color i like to make not exactly red but something between orange and between red something like this so take this 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 and here so now we will try to render and we will see which result we will receive it okay render and check uh, cancel just a moment, I forget to take out this. We are save it like a bull, but not now. So, and maybe for nice render, I will use 24, 1024, and sketching tools, I will use some background color and, okay, blue background, maybe light blue. So, render and check. So, looks like very nice. Uh, what I don't like, I don't like this. Uh, bon, sorry, F sorry for my English. I, I forget the name of this. We will put little bit behind. So, just take it. Where is this? Yeah. And, and, and put it behind somewhere like this. Okay, render again. So, very nice. I am full satisfied with this result. And you see, it's very similar to my object, very similar, maybe not like this exactly, but very, very similar. Okay, so uh, we are make a file, save, and yeah, don't forget, yes, to take out background and render. Okay, very good, it is done. So, and like bonus, uh, like a bonus, we also create now some uh, background. 
we are going for Adobe After Effects or Photoshop or wherever you like. It doesn't matter, so I will do it in Photoshop until it coming. Where is this? D. Now we will check what we already did. Yeah, very good. This bull, all this object we get, some drums material. Yeah. Inside in Adobe After Effects, make uh, Alt and left click in this area, 16 bits, create a new composition only for one uh, frame. Take like this. Apply for this new composition layer, just solid. And for this layer, apply effect from generate name of this effect gradient ramp. So down will be white and top will be something like something like that. Okay, so uh, file composition add to render quite quote like a like a PNG, okay. We are give name of this in folder tutorial. We give name for this background for our games. Save. Okay. So and now slowly we can check what we have. Um, I just open this folder from my tutorial. So I take big bash few, one, two, I take some small bush, maybe two, few drums, uh, bull, few clouds, heart, uh, few mounts, maybe something like this, stamina, cross, and few trees, something like this. After that, I take it and drag and drop here. So now we will see what we can do. Just a moment, we will wait a little bit. This will be like a test. Like a test of our future game, of our future screen. We are going for composition. And yeah, what I forget, I forget to add some land. Where is my land? Here my land. So three lands, just add. Very nice. Now we will see. Coming, not yet. It will be like a test, only for testing. Yeah, very nice. So I have one land, second land, maybe like this. It doesn't matter, we can use a third land. Very nice. So after that, we are create everything going on top. Yeah. So we are take a big bush. Where is this big bush? We are put somewhere on top. Maybe something like that will be. Big bush again somewhere here will be. Very nice. So now I take a drums. Drums very big. So I'm going for one drum and second drum i select it going for scale and reduce for 50 percent something like this so put somewhere here a drum one more drum now going for three maybe maybe two three will be So this tree will be behind the land, background, push here, scale, reduce for 50%. Now it's very small, maybe for 60%, okay. Put this drum somewhere here, this drum. Oh, sorry. Okay, small bush. Where is my bush? Small, small, small bush. Yeah, 
with this one put it also behind the lens it's very big so maybe I just little bit reduce size for 60 only yeah it will be like this small one okay very good now I take a mount maybe two only for a moment I put it behind everything except no but why I cannot see it yeah I know because it's downstairs so I take like this one mount and I take other mount somewhere here yeah looks like very nice tree I don't like tree on this location maybe I will put somewhere here okay okay what we will take now now we will take a clouds all three put behind everything these clouds as you can see it's very big so i will reduce for 60 percent mm, somewhere a little bit on top Mm hmm something like that what now take my bull oh bull should be should be behind big bush somewhere here and size scale 60 percent also <laughs> no maybe 50 percent sorry yeah something like this big bash okay for a moment like this uh, what next uh, next I take a cross cross on top everything will be scale 50 very small cross I put somewhere here no we can make less 30 percent it will be like escape then I take heart and then I take stamina so heart will be here very big heart scale I reduce for 30 percent no it's very small maybe 40 percent yeah very good somewhere here will be my heart and 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 stamina we will see stamina scale also make a 40 we will see no maybe 42 maybe 43 somewhere here should be stamina so this is like a basic idea this is basic idea how finally we will do uh, my game inside in unreal engine 4 so for a moment this tutorial completed next my series coming from unreal engine 4 see you next time and goodbye